and welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some elite mentality. All right, so this deck is based on the elites and Battlesmith. When you summon an elite, granite plus one plus one. And so the elites is a creature type. As you can see on this card, if you look at the top, it says elite across it. So it has the elite creature type. Um, and so we have uh, we have a few reasons to be an elite tribal deck. Battlesmith is the biggest one, you know, giving all of our elites plus one plus one. And then we also have uh, Vanguard Squire is the other reason to stick to elites because whenever we summon an elite, we reduce its cost by one. So if we play four elites, then it's a zero mana three three. Uh, besides that, you know, we have a lot of Demacia stuff. We have the Bannermen that if we hit the Allegiance, we get all of our creatures plus one, plus one. And so, you know, we're just going to be kind of playing a, a mid-range creature deck here with these Elites. Try to, you know, we're focusing on the on sizing, on the size of the creatures and outsizing the opponent. I feel like it's going to be too slow in Constructed, but I've never played a Battlesmith Elite deck in Constructed, so I wanted to give it a try. We're now in Master, so, you know, like it's, it's going to have some tough tests on it. But that's all the elite stuff. Now, it is called elite mentality. And so what that mentality is, is that is pack mentality. We're splashing Freljord for pack mentality. Seven mana, slow, given ally and all other allies of its group, plus three, plus three, and overwhelm. So we're going to you know, put it on an elite, give that creature and all of our other elites, plus three, plus three, and overwhelm. The overwhelm being the key. So we're going to hopefully be winning games with that. Uh, so even if they're blocking, you know, hopefully uh, that does enough damage. But that's really what our deck's about. It doesn't have a whole lot of removal. We got these Silverwing Vanguards, Challenger, that can take out a couple of things. Like these can be two for ones. Um, I got one Swiftwing Lancer that's a Challenger as well that has Last Breath, Create an Elite. But that's kind of like what our deck's about, and uh, we'll see how it goes. The Demacia deck we played yesterday... I really, really liked it. The Demacia mid-range deck that I made and we played yesterday. But that deck had, you know, Fiora and which, you know, it had better two drops, uh, you know, War Chefs and the the three two that gives the barrier. And it had um and then it had the three mana challengers with Fiora and the three mana two four with Challenger. I felt like that like that deck played really well, but None of those cards that I just said are elites. None of those four. So we'll see how this one goes. Um, but I'm not sure this is going to be powerful enough. We'll see. All right, Battlesmith. Awesome. That's exactly what we want. We want Battlesmith. All right, we got double Battlesmith. Well, let's... You know, here we go. Double Battlesmith. So we're going to... We're not going to play Cythria on turn one. I'm going to wait. I'm going to play Battlesmith on turn two. And then on turn three, I'm going to play Battlesmith plus Cythria and try to have Cythria be a 4 4. Another Hecarim deck. People sure do like their Hecarims. No. Mystic shot on the battlesmith. I pulled this it's like they didn't even want to give a battlesmith a shot. Steel. We have a yeah. As far as spells go, we have. There's eleven in the deck. I have two elixir of irons, two single combat. Two Prismatic Barrier, two back to back, and the three pack mentality. Come on. Down. New recruit reporting in. You will Fortunately, both our Battlesmiths were removed. Oh, thanks, Elixir of Iron. Thanks for nothing. 
could have really used those battlesmiths because you know basically all these creatures would have been bigger this would have been a you know a three three or a four four this would have been you know four four or five five you know like those battlesmiths are so important to our deck So they play something I am going to be playing the Garen. And then of course, besides that, with the spells, Vanguard Sergeant draws four Demacias. for Demacia. You cannot stall judgment. So what do they likely have? They likely have like black spear, that'd be seven total damage, so I can't have that survive from an elixir of iron. Meet them head on. My time has come. But if I make that block now attacking with we do what is right. Garen, they can't, you know, block with any of these in black spear and kill it through elixir of iron. Obviously we just drew a barrier, so that helps anyway. Yeah, PNZ is a good one to go next. Yep. On there with pools. Yeah, you do. Ionia, Shadow Isles. Steady, soldiers. Ready to do my part. Scythria, isn't it? Keep up the good work. Scythria gets so many cards. Because that's a Scythria card. I guess that's a Scythria card. There's also the six mana Scythria. Yeah. Yeah, PNZ has a lot of strong cards. It's very... It's a very good color and constructed. A very good region. It gets the burn spells. It's it's a it's a color that's a um, oh Scythria is in the background of the Garen card. That's right. Yeah, back here. There's Scythria back there. So there's a good support region, or sorry, PNZ is a good support region. is pretty bad. This is pretty bad.
Obviously, playing for Demacia on defense is not ideal. I guess I walked into that. Ugh, that's not great. All right, the challenger's good. I feel like if we would have had just one battlesmith this this match. <clears throat> we would have done great. You're welcome. I also recommend for the regions, Boom Punkers, I recommend going to like level 8 of each region first and then leveling up from there. I think that's the best instead of going to level 20 of, of each one. Um, you know, because you get like the champion capsule at level 8 and I recommend doing that for each region and then after that going to like 18 for each region and then finishing off the 19th and 20th levels. We didn't really have a two for one because we wasted the four Demacia. Also, like we didn't we didn't do anything with that four Demacia. How will the world won't save you, Garen. It is not armor that protects me, but my Charge! faith in Demacia. So what do you have? So, you know, it's it's like what, like a week from another uh, patch to update the cards, and I stand ready. What do y'all think is going to happen with Hecarim? I'm, I'm ready. A lot of people think Hecarim is going to get. Um, you know, some kind of nerf. What what would you do to what would you nerf Hecarim to make Hecarim a little more fair? We have played my my estimate right now is we probably played about forty percent Hecarim decks. Summon two ones. I'm not sure if it can do two ones because, you know, because there's the other card that's like the same thing, the Spectral Rider. You'd have to change everything about Spectral Rider, like the other card and everything too. Yeah, I, that's what I'm kind of thinking is only one that only summons one instead of summoning two. But I could see that, you know, so that unleveled it summons one and then whenever it's leveled up it summons two i could see that i didn't really think of that i you know i was thinking you know just summon one i didn't really think of the ability to do one unless it's leveled Ooh, pack mentality this could could win us this game Seriously? 
They're just playing Ruination in their deck? The deck usually does not have Ruination. Usually does not, except for whenever they want to blow out pack mentality. Yellow, I guess, I don't, I don't know if you know too much about me. I'm not one that, I'm not a whining person. I'm not saying nerf it, nerf it. I'm saying, I'm saying what people are, basically people are saying that they think that it's going to get nerfed. And so that's why I was asking what, what would you, what would you do if you, if it would? I would not be upset at all if it doesn't get nerfed. I don't. That's not, not who I am. I'm not somebody who whines about stuff. The Yordle here is with me. Sturdy blades, custom made. So we have the Elixir of Iron to protect Battlesmith this time, so that's pretty nice. Ready for deployment. Do not fear the shrouded path. Still think our deck's probably going to be too slow, to be honest. I don't make them for the shelf. I am a true master. Hmm. Could have played Elixir of Iron to save it. I was kind of expecting them to play Elixir of Iron as well. So I guess I should have. We turn the tide of war. Full speed ahead. What do I want to nerf in the metagame right now? Yeah, I, I wouldn't. Yeah, probably nothing. I wouldn't really say that I have anything that I want to be nerfed. I'd say that the, the two that are most likely are Hecarim and Troop of Elnux. There's nothing that I'm like hoping gets nerfed, but I'm not going to be upset if things get nerfed. I don't know. I'm just... Hmm. It's not gonna block. For justice, for Ideally, we would have like one of these three threes die, and then we play Radiant Guardian, but it's just not gonna happen. Everything's better with company. Like those things just weren't gonna die. That was a poor play by me with the Elixir of Iron. There really wasn't a reason not to Elixir of Iron. I should have on that Battlesmith. At least they likely won't have lethal. You would test my steel? Hold fast. Oh wait, but then that's not a creature dying for these things. But I don't really want a creature to die. Relax. 
Well, it's not that I don't... I would like a creature to be dead for, for these triggers, but I want all these creatures out here. So I want all these elites out here and then play pack mentality. Now, they can... They could have Ion... They could have a Will of Ionia or... Ooh. I mean, they'll blow me out by Will of Ionia or Deny. But without those two, they're... They're definitely dead. Is it even worth playing it? Is it better just to play Scythria? Could just play Scythria and attack, and then they only have two blockers right now. Pack mentality, if it resolves, everything happens, the game we win the game. Lead our charge. Demacia, now and forever. Hey, steal. I was worried about that actually working though. This should win the game as well. Where are you going? Hold up. Okay. Maybe not. Maybe not. I just thought it was... Like, I've, I've never seen that barrier lifesteal card in the deck, honestly. In that deck that my opponents play. I've never seen that card, but they usually have, a, like, three Will of Ionia and a Deny. And I just thought it was more likely that they had a Will of Ionia or a Deny. And so I went with the Scythria. Yeah, our deck's just a little slow. It's a little slow. Not a good mulligan, 665. Not a good mulligan. I don't I don't expect this hand to win at all. I got I don't think we're gonna be very competitive in this game. Nah, this game's over. I long for a worthy opponent. Oh god! Just the way I like it. This game is over. Soldier, to me. Order rewards its fate. I've got your back. Strike quickly, strike deftly. They cannot hide. Try me. No east one. <clears throat> Could have left this game a while ago. Yeah, on turn two, basically. Definitely turn three. Unworthy. Is this 
supposed to be a challenge. Your move. So how how high do these numbers go? That's what we're gonna find out today. <laughs> how high do they go? Whoops. I meant to click that. Garen Fiora. These elites just aren't good enough for constructed, are they? That was that was my hunch. I liked the Demacia deck we played yesterday. We played a, a really nice Demacia deck yesterday. My shield is yours. Oh, that didn't focus on elites. The finest but steel. before I just declared that elites weren't very good, I at least wanted to give them a, you know, give them a, give them a try at least. Ooh, they missed. So they have a Shadow Isles card. I don't know what they're playing the Shadow Isles. Honor guide me. You will not prevail. Yeah, probably Ruination. At least after I pack Mentality, then they'll have Ruination. So next turn I can go Scythria, Squire, Bannerman. Welcome. Good luck out there, recruit. Captain Crown Guard, I'm Scythria. Safeguard our citizens. Don't necessarily think I have a good attack after doing that. Isn't it? Keep up the good work. Raise the banner. Lift our spirits. We stand strong. Okay. This is good enough for the opponents to pack it in. Look at that. We had our battlesmith actually stayed alive. Helped out. We got a win. Okay, we're on the board. Hey, <laughs> all right. So you're playing a, a silly deck and not ranked. Your only creatures in the deck are Scribe of Sorrow, so every time after the first one dies, you just get infinite scribes. <laughs> get, just keep getting... 
Infinite Scribus Arrows. Awesome. What if you did what if you did that with PNZ and you had What if you put that together with the PNZ card um uh, what's the the four drop that uh, the barkeep back alley barkeep what if you just have that as your other creature back alley barkeep see so, you know, like your first back alley barkeep draws you one card but you know like you're you know you'll just keep on like scribe sorrowing and barkeeping and you just get tons of cards with that too so sometimes your scribes will maybe hit they'll hit barkeeps by my honor you must die they'll draw more and more cards <laughs> yeah, your your hands are just always too full. Yeah, you just can't. You don't have the the mana to play everything. So we have two pack mentalities and a four Demacia in hand. Don't really need all of those. A symbol worth fighting for. My time has come. Ready to do my part. All right, Fiora's out of here. That's good news. In the name of our land. My heart and sword for Demacia. For Demacia. Virtue guides me. The post is good. I mean, it's not only a barrier, but also that plus three means I don't even get to try to keep my creature alive. We stand strong. Ready for deployment. Charge! Yeah, Chronicler of Rune could could break the loop, that's true. Hold back the darkness. Awesome. Garen's out of here. Soldiers, me. So I don't get to play the pack mentality because I'm one mana short, and I don't get to hold up Elixir of Irons after this. Courage, soldier. Awesome. Hey, J Jack. Look at us, we're coming back. We're two and three. Two and three is respectable. Jack's picking up some wins. We're picking up some wins. Double Battlesmith. 
double Battlesmith into Silverwing Vanguard. Could be awesome. I'll just keep it in with the Garen as well. How's your Saturday going, J-Jack? We're playing three decks that are not necessarily the best. They're not ones that I expected to do super well. Do I trade a Battlesmith for a Greenglade duo? No. But, you know, they're a little different and wanted to have some fun. The order rewards its fate. So next turn we'll play Cythria plus Bannerman. I want to play Garen. Uh, I think Cythria plus Bannerman. I guess I could have just done Bannerman and then held up Prismatic Barrier. Oh, where, where are you going? Like this. Back to 500. All right. Call it a winning streak. 522. We're on a nice little winning streak here. I'll take it. <clears throat> so, we're going to be playing four more matches and wouldn't mind. You know, wouldn't mind a 2-2 to finish 5-5. Five and five. In queue, waiting for opponent. I definitely still like the other Demacia deck we played yesterday more, but the leads have some power. We haven't gotten a sweet um, pack mentality kill yet. We almost did against the one person, but they had Ruination and destroyed all my creatures. Yora Zed. Against Fiora, like, I need, like, those barriers, honestly, but I, I also need to kind of curve out. I would have rather had the cards that I mulliganed away than these cards. A peddler cloud drinker and play yeah the counterfeit copies rummage i did see that that seems pretty difficult to play give it a try i guess yeah if you give it a try let me know how it goes then you'll let me know if you think that would be something that i should stream it did seem really difficult to play Satisfied. 
Yeah, that was just a bad attack by me. Yeah, I mean, that was just simply a bad attack by me. If I just don't attack, I think still a 3 3, I maybe pump it up to a 4 4 with this. We have 11 total spells in the deck. This is my opponent. We've drawn over half of those. We can't find our creatures. It's just all spells. I mulliganed away a bunch of spells too. Drew another spell. Eight seven challenger. They cannot hide. I guess that's not going to work, as far as fighting it goes. Yeah, I don't think it's a real deck either. But... Could be fun to play. See what happens with this for Demacia. Which I had still had more mana for, you know, all these cards in hand, but their challengers are just too big, like those five fours and everything. I was playing pretty slow. Any day now. You don't do anything. Show them our metal. Oh, close my eyes, make it fair. All right, got some good attacks in. We basically have to draw creatures, right? Like, I don't even know, do I even have spells left in the deck? Well, that's one of our worst creatures. Basically have to draw creatures. Do not fear the shrouded path. I walk your path now. Don't back 
down. <laughs> Agnivia was cooked medium today. Yep. Yeah, this deck's doing okay. I I played this deck knowing that it wasn't going to be very good. Basically, I we're trying like I'm trying elite tribal, but I've never been impressed with elite tribal in constructed. I think it's a good thing to draft in limited, but I don't think it's really good enough for for constructed. And so the fact that we're we're actually 500, I'm you know up in masters rank. I am pretty happy with that. Our ancestors are watching. Ooh. If I didn't forge it, you so yes, yeah, so I've been pretty pretty happy about it. Um. I long for a worthy opponent. Five mana. Yeah, basically we have, yeah, so like the mentality is overrun. Give an ally and all other allies in its group, plus two, plus three, and overwhelm, so trample. So yeah, it's just, it's over overrun. Um... I'm going to pass back. So I can have 13 total mana is like the most mana you can have in a game. So I can't double pack mentality because that costs 14 mana. So that's just not something that we get to do. The finest Demosian steel. Well, if we don't get to... Oh, I, sh I should be targeting the 4-3, by the way. Well, I don't know. Maybe Radiant Garden is a good one to target. Yeah, actually, maybe that's a good one to target. They bounce. No, because I only have 4 mana, so I should probably bounce. Probably target that. I don't know. But basically, since we can't do both of them proactively, we might as well play one of them react, you know, defensively here. Since we can't have them both. All right, this game's over. Hey, Toasted. Let them eat so. Oh, God. The opponent plays so slow. Protect and strike. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He tested. All right, so three more. So let's go two and one. Try to get five hundred. That was that was the goal when we started. I, I was thinking that I would love to just get five hundred with the deck. Um, you know, even though I I didn't expect this to be good enough. Or constructed. I didn't want to just say that without giving it any kind of try whatsoever. Man, we're playing against a whole lot of up, whole lot of Fiora decks. This is either the, I think this is the fourth 
Fiora deck out of these eight. Hey, Riza. Smell that? A bite to cook it. Yeah, these cards are just a lot better than the elites. That's a the thing. These are all <clears throat> these are the cards we had in the other Demacia deck yesterday. No one goes hungry. These cards are better than what we're playing. Yeah, I'm not sure I do either, Riza. I'm not sure I really like this deck either. They're just passing. Ready to do my part. Basically, those are just going to be trading. <clears throat> Not a whole lot I can do about those trading. But I wish I just passed the turn back so that they didn't have the ability to play Laurent Proje. So I wish I would have just passed. One banner, one destiny. You call me the fight? Aha! Head to the base! So I have two options. Like, will this thing... It's draft room. Sorry. Draft room's the worst. I have two options. Have the 3-2 fight the 6-5 and then these trade. And then I'm... In that scenario, I'm 3 for one myself. Or I try to fight here and I am 2 for one myself. Um, charge? 
<clears throat> Alright, who am I taking? So neither of these creatures are going to be dealing damage now. Mentality. Let's go. I guess, I guess that's really no different from Fort Demacia right now. All right, now it's a little different because they got overwhelm. For justice, for Demacia, be Demacia. Return to us. All right, so we'll have four Demacia back to back available for the next turn. That's a good draw. Good luck out there, recruit. Captain Crown Guard, I'm Cythria. So I can play that and both of these. Okay, four and four. We're still doing it. We're still five hundred. Let's go. Get, let's get one of the next two. All right, back in the five hundreds. Take that. Jeez. I'm taking Homer Bailey. All right, put that back. Zed Katarino Yasuo. We were in the 31st round. That was my 31st round pick, Homer Bailey. Battlesmith is awesome. like that trade a card just for two damage and you know trade that three mana I don't I'm not sure how many servers the don't let the fluffy tails fool you yeah I, I'm not sure how many servers there are I'm of course on the Nor North American server Three. I, that's that was kind of the number that kind of came into my head was three. So 
So I want to have these fight before they, before their thing starts growing. Playing Bannerman is enticing as well. For justice, for Demacia. Something's never dull. Then there's you. Yeah, because they're stunning this so that Yasuo can do damage to it. Awesome, five and four. There we go, we could win this and and finish with the winning record. We got 500 locked up. We started today at 200. We are one game under 500, as you can tell by our records, and we're now at 500. So we've lost 300 spots by losing one more game than we've won. Not a good hand. I think Garen's a little slow. Ugh, this did not get better. It really did not get better. I guess I had an ability to play Battlesmith. The thing is, is I, I definitely knew that like if we play Battlesmith, Battles like they're gonna just bolt the Battlesmith and uh, like they're gonna kill Battlesmith. But I guess they did tap out, so I could have played Battlesmith untapped and then played this two two. Okay, now we can protect Battlesmith. Basically, my goal was being able to play Battlesmith and then a creature immediately back to back. In Avarosa's name, Demacian steel protects me. They just used a, a brittle steel just to put one damage on my 2-2. That doesn't seem very... That doesn't seem very efficient. For justice, for Demacia. That seemed like a great use of a card. Winter, take you. No, it does not count as striking if you attack uh, for zero. Does not count as striking. Sturdy blades, custom made. Um, 
good deck is this deck good against elusives probably not like you're gonna win you know you'll win some you'll lose some but i think probably overall elusives would be would be favored my sword is yours to command no doubt totally victory okay i like that silver wing vanguard i got 10 mana I could play that plus have back to back available. I only had one more man in, I could play pack mentality. So the question is, do I want to play back to back? I don't make them for the shelf. Sure. Ready the torches. Look out for reavers. So they'll get to draw two cards, go back up to six, so they'll have two more cards than me. But this is them losing everything, me keeping three creatures. Light the signal fires. And Garen has struck once now. Well, at least that's all the troop of Elnux. They can't get any more troops. I guess if we have to find something Time for a true display of good skill. about that. It's not bragging if you could back it up. All right, got Ezreal out of here. Static Shock just... Never really looks that good. Constantly looks like it's underperforming. Garen, relying on Garen to help finish this out. Eight damage to that thing. That's not cool. We're gonna keep it alive. Welcome. Good luck out there, recruit. Captain Crown Guard. I'm the All right, so we got the rally. You know, Garen started the round rally, so we get the attack. Battlesmith and Radiant Guardian are not elites. So as far as pack mentality, we, we have three elites. I would like them to like play something else. They don't know what they're up against. I'm not sure about if I wanted that thing though. True display of skill. I was basically gonna be saying that I wanted them to play something else that they would tap down underneath. Harsh winds. They still are. Uh, 
Uh, deck code here. It's this is the link to the deck. There's the the right hand side. There's a the top right. There's a button for the code One to shot, export the deck. Ah. Attack. What is right. I think I mystic shot my battlesmith, but oh well. These all have overwhelm. So Ready this is uh, 22 overwhelm damage between these three. They have eight toughness defending them right now. They're going to need more than eight. As they can see right now, that puts them negative four. They're going to need to uh, block with a Z also. No sweat. Blocking over there? Question mark? That doesn't keep him alive. You they need to chump the 6-6 six, six and then bolt the 2-1. Hey, Harvey. <laughs> Opponent surrendered! Look at that! Elite mentality went six and four. We went six and four with elite mentality. All right, pack mentality with the win. So where did we finish up? Four thirty-five. All right, so we had a five hundred day today. Dropped two hundred slots. That's pretty rough. But yeah, so I guess so. You know, I know while we were playing that, I wasn't like talking real great about our deck but as you can see definitely respectable six and four over in masters like so definitely respectable better than i than i thought silverwing vanguard is awesome man that card's so good in here i actually well, let's see the elixir of irons were pretty good single combat was okay um we never really played Sith of the Bold. Back to back was actually, I think, too expensive. With us having the pack mentalities and with us having um, the Vanguard Sergeant that gets us the four Demacias, I actually wouldn't want the back to backs. I think, I think instead of those, um, getting like another, um, I think like a, another Prismatic Barrier and another Elixir of Iron is what I'd rather have. I know, like, Riposte is good, too, but Riposte does take a whole lot of mana. You know, I think that I, I basically want to lower the curve. And both uh, both Barrier, Elixir of Iron, you can play with, like, extra spell mana. Especially Elixir of Iron, because we only have the 1-1 one, one drop. So if you don't have Scythria, then you, then you automatically um, bank that one extra mana. And then Elixir can... Basically, the, the whole point of Elixir is to, you know, you really want to protect Battlesmith from those early removal spells. So, like, you don't play Scythria on turn one. Uh, turn two, you play Battlesmith, and you'd have Elixir backup. So that's that's the one that's one change I would make, is I think we had too many sixes, um, especially um, when you think about how the sergeants are creating these four Demacias. So, you know, four Demacia and pack mentality and back-to-back. -back, it, was, it was a little too much at that top end. Um, Barrier was awesome, and, yeah, Elixir would have helped more there. But there we go. So there's uh, elite mentality, and I'll I'll change that in in the deck list also. I'll I'll change on the on the deck list on uh, mobile addicts. I'll make that change, even though that wasn't how we played it. That's how I'd recommend going moving going forward. Um, yeah. So that that's what I got here for elite mentality. So basically, pack mentality. We got the cool pack mentality when that last one. Um. I'd have to say this was a success. This was a success here. All right, so those of y'all watching on YouTube, hit that like button over there. Let me know if you're playing elites. How you know, like, what are you doing with the elites? Are you you know, are you playing um, elites and having success with them? If there's anything different about your deck um, or anything you'd recommend trying out with them, let me know. But that's it here for elite mentality. So thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you for the next video.